dog. Come on then, this way. I'm click on your outfit. Yeah. Oh, she got took my thing yet? We spilled. Come on. Maybe I went to school. Get me a spoon then. Yeah. Oh, it's a now, Seth. I'll let you start. Well then, press A. You must have pressed wrong button, Dad. No, I didn't press wrong button. I don't know you. Pick door, Press A. Yeah, I press yeah. mm. There we go. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Oh, this is in the bell. Yeah, I know. We're gonna put three pottery in the Black. <laughs> Prepare yourself to meet. The headmaster. Head Fick! Nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were like complications. Before, complications. It seems the goblin In problem now. Has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fick, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. I'll be in touch. No, it's not. Oh, you have a place on this. Professor Weasley! We've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What 
What is it? Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Possess a willingness to forge ahead alone when you must. Is you want? Yeah. Yeah, press hope so. Better be Gryffindor! And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Now, which way is the common room?
It'll be the next Butterbeer. You'll like it, trust me. She gets bolder every year. Nelly! Who does Nelly think she is anyway? Don't fall off this time, Nelly. <laughs> Nelly I didn't want to get in trouble the first day. Someone to try it. Should just carry on. Right. She's gonna get you another chair. I would really like someone to try it. Don't fall off this time, Nelly. No. Nelly, please get down. Nelly, Nelly will do the end of any moment. Oh, perhaps I should. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non verbally. Why is this not working? Oh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Whoops. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? I'm just going to keep at it. What you want? Well. well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day! I hope a professor catches her this time. If I knew you weren't born with wings, Nelly, I'm sure you'd use them. <laughs> It'll be the next Butterbeer. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello, you're the new fifth year. 
Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. You must be able to get away with anything. <laughs> the opposite, actually. Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth. And thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. She gets bolder every year than she does anyway. <gasps> Nelly will do anything for attention. Oh, I've got wings, Nelly. I'm sure you use them. <laughs> Sick of poor That girl Don't thinks she fall can get off away this with time, Nelly. the first day. Potato. <laughs> if I get caught, that girl thinks she can get away with anything. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nellie, by the way, Nellie Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true about the dragon? Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey, I can't believe it. How thrilling. And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. You never know. Bye for now. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. No! Oh, no! Naughty! Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. No, Daisy! You only have one Why first day it? at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning, so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource.
Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way! The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up! to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufi. No, Lily, no. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Well, what's the thing? Challenges in the tank. So, oh, oh, what are you doing? Just go press I am it. I dropped it off of it. I'm going to the middle of it. There, anywhere on it. And then press A. Why did you move again? Oh, I the now, and I go onto that thing, that field guy, and press A again. And go onto the other two. I'm going to start with that explosion now. Potato! Yeah, press A. And go to that and press A again then. And then go over to A and look. We've got some new glasses if you want them. Oh. 
on that, on or off? Uh, I'll just choose that. Might get cold. open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. No time to waste, you've classes to attend. Opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost oh, yeah. anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. So there is, uh, I'm afraid there is a... Hello. I'm sorry, Professor, but well, I'm afraid got in that's all there is to it. Hmm. Well, have a look then. I see what you. Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Yeah, take it off her. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. No, yes. it's melting now. Take you it off You seem to have provided our we'll new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic it seems Take your hmm. off. well i'm just glad you both arrived in off. one piece perfectly good boats and carriages to hogwarts oh, and you chose to fly in the you path of a dragon i wouldn't say i chose the dragon's path professor rather unfortunately it would seem that it chose us well, very well enough chit chat i need to get to class myself That's might i rely well. on you professor fig to explain the details of the field guide's map of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. 
Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? 
One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent as Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. <sighs> this should be easy. Protego. Protego. Complicates things. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> Put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Heckert. 
Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. 
consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Yeah, no, yeah. Count me in. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Knew I was right I about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll yeah, see if your yeah. performance today was sheer luck or actual yeah, yeah, skill. So. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. On out back. You want you good out? I'll save it then. Hey, should watch guys. Leave me in the fish. Play some